beautiful white sand beaches, home to the happiest animal on the planet, watching the sun go down with a cocktail. Welcome to Rottnest. We are finally off to Rottnest Island. So many people have told us that we need to come while staying in Perth, and we are finally going. We cannot wait. We're at the ferry terminal now. It's a quick 30 minute ferry ride over to Rottnest Island, but it's going to set you back about $70. It's not that cheap. Expensive ferry for a short journey. <laughs> sunshine as well. Yeah, the uh, ferry was only like 20 minutes or something like that and it was very, very bumpy. Very bumpy, very wet, sat at the back, but it was fun. We're going to go drop off our bags, our hotel and pick up some bikes and look out for some quokkas, but yes. we'll tell you about those if we see them. When we actually find them. Look like a little explorer. Me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm an explorer. Laura the explorer. We've got our bikes all ready to go see Ro. We got them from Pedal and Flipper. They cost $30 each. We were thinking of getting the electric bikes, but like $71 each, so we thought no. Yeah, could get e-scooters as well if you wanted to. Yeah. We were gonna get snorkels as well, but they literally said, are you sure you wanna go snorkeling today? The sea is They were like, we really recommend that you don't because it's so windy. So I'm kind of sad, like that was one of the things that we came here to do, but it's still yeah. gonna be a nice day, cycling around. still go for a dip though. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Let's go explore. So far there's a lot more in Rottnest than I thought there was going to be. Lots of like little houses, like people actually living here which I didn't realise. How long is it going to take? Three to five hours apparently. <laughs> We've made it to West End, it's the western tip of the island and I have to say if you're going to come to Rottnest Island on bike it's no easy bike ride I tell you that. Mm. We There's thought we were going to be strolling along. Yeah no, just no. taking in the sights, <laughs> did, 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 did. no so many hills. It's hill after hill after hill, I yeah. wish we got scooters or electric bikes. <laughs> yeah everyone's rubbing it in going past us. Yeah. We've probably been biking for about three hours or something like that but Two. it feels like longer. <laughs> Good spot for lunch, I think. And Laura seems to think, we haven't fact checked this, but this might be the western edge of Australia. No, it is. It is. Well, of Rottnest. And then, so the next thing would be maybe Singapore. Don't know if my geography's right. Somewhere in that, that area. But sounds about right. So beautiful. There's some of these lakes in the middle of the island and I think this one is meant to be a bit pinkish but I think it only happens like certain times of the year but it's still very pretty. Is this the pink lake? I don't know. I don't know if it is. Oh well, it is now. Absolutely stunning. And it does have a bit of like a pink glow to it. I don't know why. Maybe it's like the sand or the clay or something. We just spotted our first quacker. Oh, he was so cute. But he got a bit scared because then 10 more people kind of showed up taking pictures of him. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll find some more later. I'll try and get that classic selfie. We're literally surrounded by quackers. There are these little marsupials, so they're the same family as a koala. And I think one over there has a little baby in its pouch. It's so cute. But they literally have no predators, which is why they're so friendly and they're known as the friendliest animals in the world. It's so cute. Hey, real quick, I just want to say that 90% of the people who've watched our videos have not yet subscribed. So if you don't go and subscribe right now, do you know what that means? It basically means you hate quackers, the happiest animal in the world. How could you hate those? No, but for real though, it'd really mean a lot if you could subscribe.
back to the video. It was such a beautiful bike ride, but now it's time to check into our hotel and we've kind of treated ourselves today. <laughs> Door's a bit squeaky, but wow. Isn't this a bit bougie? Nice, little balcony. You know it's bougie when they separate the toilet and the shower. Oh, oh. my little door. Decided to treat ourselves, as you know. We're staying at the Samphir, I think that's how you say it, Samphir Rot Nest. It set us back, was it 300? Yeah, $300 for one night, which is definitely way out of our budget compared to what we normally pay, but we thought we'd treat ourselves. So here we are, a little bit of luxury. This Prosecco is literally the size of my head. I'm not saying something. <laughs> and beaches, home to the happiest animal on the planet, watching the sun go down with a cocktail. Welcome to Rock Nest. Good morning from Rockless Island. It's a very rainy morning. I think we got really lucky with the weather yesterday. It's Definitely. been raining for about a whole week and we had a day of sunshine, yeah. even though it was super windy. Really glad that we stayed the night because we were wondering whether to spend the money and stay or just come for a day trip, but we would have had to have left at like 4 p.m. because that's when the last ferry is. And it would have just been super rushed, wouldn't it? And you would have missed out on all the quackers. We yeah, pretty much had dinner out. with <laughs> 10 quackers. Yeah, it's true. They come out later in the evening. But if I was to do it again, I reckon I'd either maybe even get a bus, just because biking around the whole mm. island is hard, like it is a workout. Yeah, it was like five hours with stops, so it's a good chunk of the day. Mm -hmm. And we didn't even swim or anything, did we? No, I would definitely make sure we would snorkel next time, yeah. maybe get electric bikes, just to make mm. the whole day a bit easier. Yeah, definitely. Only thing I would say is that the weather was like fine yesterday, but it wasn't like amazing, and the beaches still looked like really crazy so if it was like a proper sunny day I can only imagine what it looked like we'll just have to come back Definitely. in summer who knows what we're gonna do this morning very rainy day probably go get another coffee somewhere ordered a large latte out oh, hot but look at the size of it I think that's the biggest coffee known to man goodbye rotness <laughs> 